Brian Skagline hit me up about a month ago, probably probably a little over a month ago now, um, and asked if he could send me a couple of kendamas. I said, dude, absolutely. Uh, I review kendamas, and I you have kendamas that I can review. So Brian Skagline and Kendama USA were nice enough to send these out to me, and like a couple days after I got these in the mail, TJ Kolsnick's new Promon was announced and available on their site. So, package number two. So I took the new TJ Kolsnick mod, brought it together with the two I got from Kendama USA, and now we're just gonna make one big Kendama USA fun-filled video with all the new stuff they've been coming out with uh, because it is fire. So, I didn't really come into this video with a plan. I think what I'm gonna do is put the promo to the side, open up these two, then unbox the pro mod, then we'll like put them all together, compare them, hopefully give you an idea of which uh, which model you should purchase. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so looking into the box, we have some stickers, very nice. Uh, ooh, a craft sticker, that's really cool. First up, we have the Kaizen Flip Cardinal, which is on the slim shape. And then we have the Kaizen, uh, I think they're calling it like Species, I think that's right. Uh, fin colorway, which is one of my favorites. And then we have an envelope for me. Cool. So the card reads, Yo TJ, thank you for doing a review with these. The Kaizen Slim Cardinal and the Kaizen Species Fin. Enjoy a man and much love, Skaggs Kusa. And then he drew a nice little Dama uh, doodle and signed BS Brian Skagline. Um, thank you, man. Awesome note. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, I am super excited to do a review of these. So stickers and notes to the side. Let's get into them. All right, so I'm gonna go open up the fin first, um, mainly because I just want to. I think it's one of my favorite colorways Kendama USA has ever made. Uh, and the one that came out with this one, the Flamingo mod, is also gorgeous. I love the pastel colors they used. I think it's just designed super well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into this one first. Going over the box real quick, you can see it's labeled pretty clearly. It is on the shift shape, uh, which is Kendama USA's sort of new standard shape they've been using for a bit now. Even though it's not a super high-end pricey Kendama, uh, you still get really nice packaging that gives it a premium feel, um, which I really like. I think Kendama USA has always done that really well. Their packaging has been top notch. Opening it from the top, uh, you have this little text that says, much respect, which I like. It's a nice little touch. You have this little cardboard piece, uh, and then you have the actual Kendama, which you can just grab this pulley tab and slide out, like so. And in the back of the packaging, you have this big start guide uh, that they include, which I think is really cool. But other than that, that's all you get in the box. So in this startup guide, uh, you get your extra string and bead, uh, a couple stringing tools, and then looks like a bunch of stickers. Yeah, wow, a bunch of stickers. Awesome, I love when Kanamas come with stickers, and I can confidently say you have over-delivered in that department. And on the very back of this whole thing, uh, you actually have all the grips and some basic tricks you can learn if this is your first Kendama, uh, which I think is really cool they include. Um, it's nice, especially being a bigger company, no doubt that some of these are gonna be players' first Kendamas. So I think it's really important that they include this, um, and I think it's awesome they do. Then you take it out of this little plastic housing, and you have your Kendama. Out of the box, the string length, I'd say three, barely four, three to four fingers, which, good length, um, that's acceptable. It's definitely playable. I know a lot of people prefer their strings long, um, but that's an acceptable length to come on a factory Kendama. So looking over the Ken first, um, as I said earlier, this is in the new shift shape offered by Kendama USA. And I say new, it's not that new, it's been out for months now, but it's pretty much their new standard shape that they're going with, uh, and I think it's a great shape. I think Kendama USA put a lot of time uh, and effort into making this new shape, and it really shows. I actually bought a used craft shift uh, from one of my friends, and when I held it, I didn't really like it, to be honest with you. Um, but after playing with it for a while, it's easily one of my favorite shapes. So keep that in mind. I don't know if that's just me and I'm weird, but if you don't like it at first, play it, uh, and I really think you'll grow to love this. All right, so let's compare the shift shape to the Sweets Prime Ken, uh, just to give you an idea of the size and shape uh, and all that good stuff. Looking at the cup sizes, the Shift Big Cup is definitely a little bit bigger uh, than the Sweets Prime Ken. The small Cup, same, it's definitely bigger on the Shift. And the Base Cup definitely is bigger on the Shift. Uh, the Sweets Prime almost fits inside of it, to be honest. As far as burns on the Ken, you have the Kendama USA logo burned on the bottom here. And on the back, you have this writing, which I don't know what it means. I really should, I just don't. Um, someone could tell me, that'd be awesome, I imagine. It, I imagine the writing says Kaizen or something like that. Um, so if anyone knows what that says, please tell me, because I actually have no idea. 
On top of the big cup, you have that Kaizen Infinity looking logo again. Um, so very nice with the markings on the Ken. You can definitely tell it's a Kaizen, which is really cool. Both the Ken and the Tama are beech wood. Uh, so it's a full beach setup, which is a softer wood, but beach is super honed for stalls, uh, which is why I really like beach Tamas. Um, but yeah, full setup, beach. So the Tama is coated in their sticky clear paint, uh, and it's in this gorgeous 70-30 design. Like I said, it's one of my favorite colorways uh, Konami Yosei has put out to date, and I think it just looks fantastic. Uh, you have this really deep ocean, almost coral blue, and then below the blue you have this nice bright pink stripe, and then below that you have the bright white uh, surrounding the bevel. Alright, uh, that is only one kendama and we have two more to go, so let's get through it. Alright, speed round. Here we, here we go. So the packaging is pretty much the same as the other one. Uh, you have your getting started pack, which we've already gone over. Fantastic. Uh, only difference really is that there's this white sticker uh, that instead of shift says slim. But other than that, that's really the only difference in the packaging. So here we have the Kaizen Flip Cardinal. Uh, and what's different about this one as opposed to the fin, uh, the shape is on the slim shape instead of the shift, and the paint that's on the Tama is in the silk paint, not the sticky clear. As far as laser engravings go on the Ken, uh, you have the Konami USA, same as the fin, but this time it's on the opposite side of the Ken. Uh, and on the other side, you have the Kaizen Infinity logo. You also have this small logo right here on the edge of the base cup, uh, and I also don't know what that means. Looking at the Tama, it's coated in Konami USA's silk paint, uh, and is also in a 70-30 colorway. This time on the top, you have this dark red, uh, with a black stripe and yellow around the bevel. The colorway is definitely very unique. Uh, I think it stands out for sure. And I'm guessing it got its name because it sort of has the same colors as a cardinal bird. It's also coated in their silk paint, um, which I prefer sticky clear, but it's all preference. Silk paint lasts longer. It's definitely more durable in my opinion. Um, and a lot of people like the feel of silk paint too. It gives them sort of more control uh, when going for like lighthouses or lunars. Um, but my preference, I think sticky clear, looks better and I like the way it plays better and breaks in better too. But if you like silk paint, this one's for you. And instead of comparing this Ken to the Sweets Prime, I'm actually going to compare it to the normal Shift Ken. Uh, because you're probably wondering, which one should I buy? Well, hopefully this helps you settle it. The cup sizes are actually exactly identical, uh, so you're not sacrificing smaller cups by getting the slim shape. Uh, really the only difference is the main part of the Ken is just a lot slimmer on the slim shape. The Shift shape is probably going to be something closer to what you've played in the past, um, and I think the Slim is sort of a whole new experience if you've never played one, but if you think one is better suited for you and your playing style, definitely go with that one. Alright, so we're all set with these two, let's move on to the Pro Model. I love Pro Models, uh, I think they're so fantastic, really because everything about it is customized, even down to the box. See it says right here, Pro Model, TJ Cole's next signature. Uh, and the whole thing is sort of a picture of the ocean, which is the inspiration behind TJ's promo. Opening it up, you can see it says make waves right there instead of much respect, uh, which again, just a nice customization knowing you've got a pro model uh, over one of their standard mods. All right, so out of the packaging, uh, you have the getting started guide and the pro model as well. This time though, when you open up your getting started guide, uh, it's a bit different with the pro model. So in this one, you're actually getting a black string instead. Uh, same thing, stringing tools. And along with all your Kandama USA stickers, you're getting some customized uh, TJ Kolsnick stickers as well. And all of the custom stickers kind of add to the whole spectacle of buying a pro model, which I think is really cool. So just like the fin, uh, this is gonna be on the shift shape, but instead of beech wood, you're looking at a full maple Kandama. Maple is sort of known more as a premium wood, even though really it is just down to preference. Um, but a lot of your cheaper Kandamas will be made on beech wood, and more higher end ones are gonna have hardwoods, uh, like maple and ash. Um, and Basically what you're getting here is a maple shift shape. String length on this one is only three fingers, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I think when you get a pro mod, it's nice to have a longer string, especially because a lot of people will just end up throwing the string away anyways. A lot of people usually play minimum four finger string. However, on the end of the string with a pro mod, uh, you have a bearing bead as opposed to the Kaizens, which only come with a standard bead. Looking at the Ken itself, you have the TJ Kolsnick signature. You have this new custom sort of pro model seal um, that I think looks really cool. It's TJ's custom seal, uh, which is the waves and the ocean, um, which is the inspiration behind this pro mod. So I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, and on the back, Nama USA. And on top of the big cup, we have this writing here, which I, again, don't know what it says. Uh, I'm gonna put right here what it says, though. I apologize. That's what it says. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the Ken. The top of itself is also made of maple wood, and it's covered in their sticky clear paint, which is my favorite. Uh, and the design is 
Sort of a callback to TJ's first pro model. It's kind of a four-way color scheme. On the very bottom around the bevel, you have a very light blue, uh, then a darker blue, then an even darker blue, then a very dark blue, uh, and around the string hole, you have this white circular tracking dot. I think he hasn't gone totally out of the box with a new pro mod. Uh, it's just a really tastefully done update from his last one. Whew, we're done. Uh, yeah, I went over all three of them. Um, these are three of Konami USA's newer Kandamas that are all available on their website. So go check them out. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave a link down in the description of the video. Uh, let's go to their website and check them out. If you're on Instagram, I'll tag them. Uh, you're most likely already following Konami USA, but I'll tag them anyways. Big shout out to Brian Skagline for reaching out and sending me two of these. Um, it really means a lot that you guys support me and uh, we're willing to send out free Kandamas. So thank you so much. If you guys have any requests for a Kanama I should unbox next, or any ideas for videos, I kind of want to branch out, uh, maybe try some new stuff besides unboxing. I don't know, let me know what you think. I apologize if my voice has been declining throughout this video. It is like dead. I've had a horrible uh, cold slash flu, and my throat is on fire right now. So I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.